so we are back at the same place we were in the last public land video. There's a couple of advantages and there's a couple of disadvantages. The number one advantage is it is on a Tuesday, so it is very unlikely that there's gonna be other people here that are gonna be working or they're gonna be at home. The disadvantage is it's really hot today, really, really hot. We got a south wind, so it's gonna be a little bit finicky with how things go, but I'm not too worried about the wind. We're gonna check the area where we saw the deer last time, and if it looks good, then we'll try and find a place to sit over there. But if not, we're gonna go back. We're gonna sit at this little pinch point that we went through the last time. So yeah, we're learning, and we're going to try and find a good place to sit tonight. stuff works but we'd still do it this way is a really thick area like a like a peninsula and I personally think that it's a great area for bedding I'm not gonna go in there but I would like to try and find a way to hunt the movement coming out into the field I haven't found a real great spot yet though so we're gonna look back in the woods a little bit because there is a path that walks along the river so we're gonna check this out real quick. And then if it doesn't work out, we might end up going back to the pond where you guys saw uh, the last public land video as well. I've made an executive decision, but it, it might be the wrong decision, but I've made an executive decision. We're gonna go back to the pond that was in the last video. I feel like here it's a chance that we'll see deer, uh, possibly, you know, coming in, but at the pond, there's just so much deer sign. I just, I think that's the best bet right now. Even though we're walking over a bunch of deer tracks. So we have about 30 to 40 minutes left of daylight. We didn't see anything come in, so we're gonna start spyglassing again how we did the last time. We're gonna check all the fields, see if there's any deer, and if there is, we can try and put a move on one. I'm gonna do it a lot differently this time. I'm gonna allocate myself enough time, so if we do see one, we can make the proper adjustments and make sure we don't spook anything. So we're gonna start looking, and hopefully we find something. Big of a bucket. 
Buck Jasmine. Like, he was big. Big, beautiful eight point. Big, beautiful eight point. I don't know what I could have done there. To tell you the truth, I really don't. We could have tried to get better footage, I guess, is what we should have done. We shouldn't have gone after it. But it it's, it's fine. I totally tore up my feet. I stepped in like thorns and all sorts of stuff. Man. I thought there was just, I thought there was just one buck, but I started looking, because I, I spy glassed the, the eight point, and then I started looking through the camera, and I'm like, that's not an eight point, that's a younger deer, and so there's two of them, there was, it was a eight point buck that was at least three and a half, maybe four and a half years old, and then it was that six point, and what happened is, is, I don't know. They, they, they kept coming forward and we just weren't ready for them. I don't know if they would have came in this way or not, but... Jeez, man. Oh. That would have been a nice buck. You live and you learn. wasn't meant to happen. All right, let's get all of our stuff together and let's get out of here because we can't shoot anymore. Jasmine, I seriously. Know. I 